An alternative to plastics has arisen in the form of synthetic biodegradable corn-based bottles that have many of the same characteristics as plastic bottles. You know, the whole point about the corn-based bottles is that they're biodegradable and they come from a renewable resource. Biodegradable issue is that in order for them to biodegrade, they have to be in this commercial composting system, which like Chicago doesn't have, for example. It's not compostable if you throw it in the ground or if you throw it in the garbage and it ends up in a, in a you know, garbage dump, it won't decompose. They require um, a very specific set of conditions to break down. It has to be in like a, a commercial composting site where it's kept at a high temperature for 80 days straight before they'll break down. And uh, you know, ultimately, it doesn't seem like a very good solution because it is a corn-based product. Then you get into GMOs. And so the corn that this is made out of, they're, you know, the corn, it's all genetically engineered corn. So then this corn is pollinating other crops of regular corn. It's just, it's, you know, we just need to get away from GMOs. You add in all of the levels of complication of your, your new source of material. Um, and the corn farming industry in general in the United States. How many petrochemical fertilizers derived from oil have to go onto a field to grow the corn to be made into bottles? How much energy does it consume to turn corn into plastic bottles that you're eventually throwing away to, to biodegrade anyway? So, you know, I, I personally, I think it's a terrible solution to the problem. Uh, the reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reduce, reduce. Um, so really, we believe that you should just reduce your purchases. I mean, you don't have to go. We are such a consumer driven. We want to buy everything. We just, you know, we're always wanting to buy. So our thing is think before you buy it. And when you buy it, buy something that will last. Buy something consciously. You know, think about what you are purchasing. Of all the things um, I have read about and written about, this is one of the easiest to change. This is something that people have complete control over. All you have to do is get in the habit of carrying your own water bottle around. You know, you make a purchase one time and, and that's it. The best option for most people who want to avoid uh, drinking bottled water but still you know, want to drink water are the stainless steel um, bottles with uh, leach-free liners. They are long-lasting, you can wash them, um, they don't leach. Uh, so, and they're not made of plastic, so they don't require that, you know, the, that petroleum to be used. So those, that's, that's the best option. Right. The question gets down to, uh, well, how do, you, how do you change people's mindset? And I, I recognize that uh, as an elected official and as I, I teach at Loyola, I get to a few people and they'll ask, why are you doing this? What is this? And it's a uh, reusable almost forever alternative to bottled water that I can refill on my bed and I put, as I said, the seal of Cook County on it. I bought 30 of these at the beginning and passed them out to the other elected officials and to the clerk. So when they show the board meetings on TV, the clerk's always there and he has them sitting right on top. You know, it, it's, it's small, but you know what, if I can get five other people, 10 other people to start doing this and they communicate, it helps. Do I have hope that there's enough? Uh, it's scary, but I still have hope because it's more rational to have hope and keep trying than it is to just give up because there's too much at stake. It is about continually educating ourselves and inspiring others to make changes. And I think that's what's happening.